uh, hello and welcome back to green pips effects and on today's video i'm simply gonna be sharing uh this beautiful smart money strategy it's actually a day trading strategy and it's an absolute banger of a strategy so i'm just gonna quickly uh pass through this trade that we had um on gold for the previous week and you know i hope at the end of this video you will have obtained a thing or two from this video from uh the perspective that i trade um, from my confirmation style, from the way I study market structure and use my auto blocks to get very good uh, and high RR entries like these. So let's get into it, right? Um, so firstly, we need to identify our structural impulse. So as you can see, we've been uh, so I'm on gold chart on the thirty minute time frame, which is actually the uh, intraday time frame for day traders, and it's you know it is what it is. So on this particular time frame we can see that gold has been going uh pretty much uh very bearish and you know we were just looking to to keep holding that bearish perspective so we we had price making this low here um okay so i'm just gonna go back and use the highlighter so price made this low uh came up uh created this high so uh by by doing this it simply created a range right between this low here to um this high here so uh, this is the price range that we were currently sitting on and um, according to our structural perspective right if price is to go bearish and keep holding the bearish trend then we should we should be seeing this low right here uh, getting taken out right but if price is obviously gonna uh, if price is about to change its um, its direction then you know we'll definitely see this high right here being taken out and price start uh, pushing bullish from there but uh, you know when a trend is is established and uh and it's a very strong trend then um you know most likely than not price is just gonna hold that uh that particular trend so that's precisely what we saw and we had this low right here getting taken out by this um structural impulse right here and that just uh led to the creation of this low here as the lower low so i'm just gonna put in a highlighter there so we had a creation of a lower low right and at this moment in time we just knew that price was overall bearish and it was uh, still gonna uh, hold that bearish trend so all we needed uh, to do is apply the concept of supply and demand by of course uh, identifying the the right or the correct area of supply onto which price was obviously going to retrace into and then push away from that area to go bullish and target the overall lows of course as the next liquidity run and pretty much that's basically what happened so we had price um breaking structure right here so price pushed bullish right uh, sorry bearish we had this low we had this high here so this is just internal price action and then we had this break here on the internal price this low um this high sorry this low um a high high and then a change of, of structure uh within the internal structure right so uh, we, we we had this low here being created price pulled back into this area here of supply we had that high and then we had the overall final down push that led to the break of this low right here so pretty much from this area right from at this moment in time our last up push before the overall down move was this overall up push right here right from this low to this high right but of course it's it's um it's too big of a zone to work with so of course we were going to refine this and we did refine it right so if i just go back and clear all of these so at this point we're just focusing uh from this low here to this high here so based on um our rules and uh how we view other blocks right for me um this area right here um this last up push before the down move the overall very impulsive down move so this was my area of supply why because below this area there were um imbalances right a lot of imbalances to be filled and of course this uh zone was still unmitigated so price had you know more than enough reason to come back here before uh, initiating that continuational push towards the bearish side so for me this was the most potent area of, of supply and price did just that so price um started breaking internal structure and then finally just uh came up here mitigated this area supply and of course we just dropped down um, time frames to confirm this and at that uh, point we just went to the um, okay so I'm just gonna uh, reset this chart view right here and um, 
So um, there we are, and the, uh, we're just going to use the type 2 confirmation, which is just the um, the current time frame confirmation without dropping down time frames, without applying anything crazy. So we're just going to use um, an extra or um, a different type of confirmation. And this is the type of confirmation that we normally use at the community, right? especially when we're trading through these um, time frames without dropping um, into lower time frames and looking for that uh, con you know that change of character and break of structure and then the continuation bearish right so we're not going to use this we're just going to use this um what is simply called the triple m confirmation style and this confirmation style um as you can see so price at this area here price creates this low here creates this high here right um so let me just use the highlighter so they can you know like uh, easily be seen so there we have it we have a low we have a high um uh, from this candle and then a new candle opens right um, which is which is actually the mitigation candle and um, as soon as it opens here price goes up goes all the way up into our zone of course right mitigates that zone and then ends up closing below the previous wick so this is the is the type of confirmation that we call it the triple m uh, confirmation and once this candle closes just below the previous wick that's when our entry um steps into the market and that means we enter at this new candle open with our stop loss right so i'm just gonna um so you know i can just take this out and redo it right so this is where we place our entry right at the open of the next candle right our stop loss is simply just slightly above um that previous wick and of course we're looking to target the overall low and as you can see it's a beautiful 1 to 11 rr trade and you know it's phenomenal just the way um that price pushes away from this area here right it's phenomenal how price pushes um away from this area of uh, supply here and manages to go all the way uh down here and take out this low as its uh next liquidity run of course and um you know we did look to apply the same concept here but you know i'm not going to talk about this area here so that's basically it on this video um i hope you did enjoy the video i hope you did uh, manage to learn a thing or two from this video and if you did like the video then don't forget to hit that like button um subscribe if you haven't turn the bell button on for notifications and until the next one guys stay safe have a nice trading week and of course peace out